the mobility of people and accessibility of products are fundamental parts of our modern society. But there are consequences. Did you know that transport is responsible for about one quarter of CO2 emissions worldwide? It also contributes to noise pollution and requires a lot of space. A lot. Here are some examples of how we try to address these challenges. About 8,000 students and 2,000 employees come to Chalmers campus every morning. Setting a good example, most of our students use either bicycles or public transport. And while in 2006, 34% of employees commuted to work by car, it is now only about 15%. How did we achieve that? Simple. We gradually decreased the amount of parking spots in recent years. Genius. Since then, the use of public transport has almost doubled from 22% to 43%, and we've also seen an increase in the number of bicycle commuters. But it doesn't stop there. Our campus can offer other sustainable transport options, like Sterostel, Moveabout and Sunfleet, which are all services available to us and those who visit. Or, have you ever tried Gothenburg's new electric buses? They connect our two campuses on Lindholmen and Johanneberry with a charging station at either end. We call it Electric City Project and our Chalmers researchers collaborate with other organisations to tackle both unhealthy noise pollution as well as the CO2 impact of traffic. We believe that there is a lot we can do to promote sustainable transportation. Hopefully in the future, our ideas and findings can go even further beyond Chalmers campus than they already do today.